Let me introduce to you the offset serrated blade. Why is it offset? Well, as you're cutting through a, a, a difficult ingredient, it keeps your knuckles from knocking into the cutting board. Serrated, it bites right through a, a tough exterior and it makes a really, really clean um, cut. Or for cutting a tomato, which is actually very soft, but you want it to be cut clean. Nice, easy, clean slice. The serrated edge will do all the work for you. You don't even have to apply much pressure on it. You just slide it across, almost with two fingers, you can cut right through that tomato. Cut it as thick as you like, tip down, just drawing the edge, uh, drawing the uh, tip down and just drawing the blade across the, the vegetable. Gives you perfectly clean cut slices of tomato. Let's try something a little bit more challenging. How about a baguette or a piece of crunchy French bread? Again, a little bit more pressure, but always sliding the serrated edge across. This is soft in the center, but it's real crunchy on the outside. Blade just chews right through it and makes a nice, nice clean surface. So now when you toast that and you're gonna make your crostinis or something, you got a perfect slice of bread. Maybe something a little bit more challenging was an artichoke. Artichokes, how do you cut through this thing? This thing is so fibrous, it's crazy. Well, cut right through at the tip of it. Short, short little motions, cut right through. Perfect. Now, with artichokes, you need a little bit of acidity so that it doesn't, it doesn't turn dark on you. But you've got yourself a perfectly cut artichoke ready to, to cook in, uh, in some uh, Lemon juice, salt water, uh, uh, boiling on the, on the stove, plunge your artichoke in there, perfectly cut. Or for instance, spaghetti squash or a butternut squash. These are really, really tough, hard outer surfaces. How do you get through them? Holding onto your blade, your serrated offset, cut through, cuts right through perfectly. Very little effort. You cut right through the exterior on there. You right down to the soft part that you want to that you want to cook. Easily slices the, um, the the skin off the outside as well. So you can start your butternut squash soup within minutes. <laughs>